Hi, uh, my name is Beatrice and today I'm going to talk about how does one make queer and sustainable art. Hello, my name is Oliver and I'm a trans guy who makes videos about LGBTQIA plus people where they get to talk about anything that they want that somehow relates to them being queer. I met up with a local artist in my home city, Gothenburg, Sweden, to listen to them talk about their approach to art. My name is Beatrice, I'm turning 21 years old this uh, fall. I identify as queer more than other things, but also non-binary and maybe pansexual, but I don't really care about like those labels. And their thoughts on queer labels are tied together with their thoughts on queer art. I feel like the labels are very important in a way, but I also feel like they, um, they become like checking boxes. So I can feel, oh yeah, this is one thing I can identify with. It's been more of a pressure, I feel like, and maybe also with creating queer art. Like, I've been thinking a lot about what is queer art and what makes it queer. Because in one way, obviously, if a queer person makes art, then yeah, that could be classified as queer art. But then, what does that really mean? Because also, it's a beautiful word because I feel like it's very free and very open, queer. So that's why I like it most than maybe the others. We're going to get back to the definition of queer art later in the video. But let's start with listening to Beatrice's relationship to art in general. For me, art has just been something I've done very naturally and like drawing when I was a kid to wanting to like do everything. And I feel like that's always been the case. Like I want to try everything. And I've said to myself that I'm not allowed to start like knitting because I can't have another hobby that I'm not gonna finish because <laughs> I do so much, which is also very fun, but yeah, <laughs> it kind of stresses me out. I paint, I'm trying to get into sculpturing and I try to paint on clothes, like I do a lot of stuff. They want to talk about a specific period of their creating history. I had this period of my life where I thought I had to be in all of my movies and if I did films and stuff, I thought I had to be the subject of the film always. And also as a queer artist, like I feel like it was very important to show like another queer story and queer stories are very important. But I also thought I had to be the center of attention and also in like maybe in music or performance that it had to be about me. And then I realized I couldn't be behind the camera and in front of the camera at the same time. So it was just a struggle. And then coming to terms with, well, maybe I, I can still be an artist and not be this like kind of queer icon, which is represented in all this art I make. And that's been very helpful when making, especially films, like having a vision and being able to connect that with the people I'm working with is also very fun. I've also been very stress like on stage and stuff. I don't have stage fright in me. I still like like dressing up and getting attention, but it's also not really, I want to see it. <laughs> so it's more, yeah, I don't know. It's been nice to be able to accept that I don't have to be on camera to show my queer story. They're also trying to find a way of creating art that isn't stressful. Because I've tried to focus a lot on um, slow art lately. I struggle a lot with stress and uh, wanting to get out stuff and create stuff and uh, show people things uh, that I do. And also with uh, like social media is very like, oh, look what I've done. Like you show yourself. So now I try to practice a lot of slow art and try to create stuff uh, and honor the, the process and uh, creating things and especially collectively with th these people. Because, well, even though I don't want to be on camera, I have a lot of gay friends <laughs> that love being on camera and love being part of all these projects. So it's not really an issue. <laughs> and um, the beauty of um, creating things with other people and having like a sketch of what I want to do and then them just filling in the blanks. That's how I've been trying to work lately. So let's get back to the expression queer art. What does that mean? In one way, it can be whatever. Maybe a queer artist, maybe they have to sh struggle more to get the recognition they deserve. Maybe creating the same painting as 
like someone who fits the norm more or has better opportunities in that sense. And in that way, queer art is very important to define and make like this is a queer artist and they deserve. Because I feel like queer art is so beautiful where it can um, exist in like another world and still be just so simple as showing alternative lifestyles and showing alternative people's like bodies and showing that it's not it's it's such a so many people in this world and we can all look different and also look the same so i guess that's what i love most about queer art that it's just like it's like a punch in the face but it's also just so calm but I still struggle to like actually know what I mean when I think about queer art. Like it's still very because this is just queer art because it's not fitting into like the mainstream and it, just because these like people in in power try to define it as not normal or is like who has the power to define what is like because in one way it's always political and does it have to be political or does it have to be political? Because I find it kind of sad to think, does it have to be political? But also, yeah, I do. <laughs> I want it to be political because it is political. So I guess it's still a question I don't have an answer to, I guess. But they do think that queer artists have a unique approach to making art. I feel like with the people I encounter, like queer people that make art and queer artists and whatever, they have so much passion because it comes back to this thing where when I wanted to be like the subject of my art I thought I had to be and it's this joy of showing a part of your life and showing a part of yourself like queer people showing their hearts and their suffering and everything and that itself is so that it's so powerful and so vulnerable like it, it comes from such a genuine place where queer art can be so awful like oh you it hurts your soul looking at it but it can also mean so much and knowing that someone who's they feel stuck in in the norm or in in what society wants from them like being able to see more queer art and these queer artists can be like this explosion of new new things in their lives and see new things and I feel the art world maybe needs a little more new things because it easily gets stuck in like a trend or trends like trendsetters make what's supposed to be good art and I don't think art is about being good or bad it's like that passion and I feel like queer art in that way it doesn't have that urge to be beautiful always or be good like queer artists have this desire to show something or just create something that I think a lot of um, the artist world needs. This, uh, just this desire to create art, just because you want to and just because you have, like this desire to do it. Lastly, Beatrice also has some thoughts on slow art connected to sustainable art. Slow art, I've been thinking about it very much lately, also connecting to like sustainable art. I'm not there yet. I'm not doing sustainable art yet, like in like in environmental meaning, but also like for myself and for my health and trying to make it work, like go around. And I do want to make money of my art and like for it to be my life, I guess. But also I don't because then it means I have to create stuff for my own survival. And then maybe that's not what I want. So sustainable art in a way where like, material wise also like how we can save this planet and also make art the thought of that is, has been in my head <laughs> for a while and uh, i'm going to art school this fall and i really want to have that like this is my goal I'm trying to get closer to even with deadlines how can i make this healthy and how can i make this how can i make this work without draining my energy and i feel like that's very queer to just take care of yourself and uh, also be passionate and driven like how to balance that it's like either you're this crazy always going or you don't do anything and how do we balance resting and 
creating and feeling this passion. How do I do that? How do I make slow and passionate and sustainable art? If you enjoyed watching that video, please like, comment, subscribe and share the video. I really appreciate you showing your love in that way. If you also want to support the channel financially, that's possible via Patreon, but really no pressure. See you next time.